Hey folks, it's Brad. Today's t-shirt is Max Sabbath. They're a Black Sabbath copy band who dress in McDonald Land character costumes. Next week, starting on Friday, we are having our annual or one of our annual retreats at Mount Baldy Zen Center and you are invited. So please show up. There is still time to register. I'll leave the registration information below. I think we're getting very near capacity, but there's still room for more. So please sign up. If you're going to sign up, do it now. The theme of the retreat is going to be Menju. And Menju is usually translated as face-to-face -face transmission. Dogen wrote a fascicle, I hate that name, fascicle, an essay in Shobo Genzo called Menju, and we're going to look at that during the retreat. But I also want to look at some of the things that Koben Chino said about Menju. Koben Chino was the teacher of my first teacher, Tim McCarthy, and this book, Embracing Mind, the Zen Talks of Koben Chino Otogawa, is the best source I know of for some of his teachings. I asked Tim about it uh, when I was in Ohio last week, or whenever it was, two weeks ago, I don't know. And uh, I said, "Did this? do you think this represents the, the Coben that you knew? And he said, oh, it's pretty close. So pretty close, I guess, is what we're going to we're gonna get. So we're going to look at some of that. And I was just sitting over on the couch, which is over there, reading what Coben said about Menju, and it was very interesting. Because normally people, I think, imagine that transmission is something that happens from master to disciple. So there's the master up here with his knowledge, his or her knowledge, doesn't matter. And there's the disciple down here with her or his knowledge. And the master transmits the great knowledge to the disciple and then they both become equal or something like that. Coben doesn't look at it that way. If you look at his writings, he's saying that Menju is something that happens between two people, and it has to happen between two people. He talks about how there's a way-seeking mind, which is a, a phrase that the San Francisco Zen Center has jumped on, and I don't know if it comes from uh, Suzuki Roshi or if Coben invented it. But uh, they, they've jumped on it and they've sort of like put their little uh, maru r, uh, that means a circle r around it, or maru c, circle c around it. But the original word is bodhicitta, which means arousing the mind to enlightenment or aspiration to enlightenment. And he talks about the, the uh, way-seeking mind being like a fire that's out of control and the person who arouses it just knows that something needs to happen, but they don't know quite what it is. And it's not until that person meets their teacher that they can control this, this fire and things come together and happen. But one of the things that, I don't know if Coben exactly says this, but I'm gathering it from reading between the lines possibly in what he's writing, that it goes both ways. So I, I always thought, well, how does a teacher know whether to transmit somebody, you know, give Dharma transmission would be one way or, or just to teach at all. And I think the answer that I'm getting from Coben is something I kind of intuited myself anyway, is, is the teacher knows if, if the teacher is learning too. So if, if you meet somebody who has, who, who, who can, who, who also has this way-seeking mind and is sincere about it, the teaching is going both ways. It's not, it's not coming from the master up here to the disciple down there, but it's going both ways. Of course, there's someone who's more experienced and someone who's less experienced, and, and that's a factor too, but the, the teaching has to go both ways. And ever since I've been doing the business I've been doing and gaining a certain degree of fame around it, I started to realize that, that there's a certain type of person who comes around who wants something, you know, and, and this is um, sometimes a sincere want or sometimes it's, it's well, it's, it's usually sincere, but sometimes what they want is, is some kind of power or something. So they, they want they, they understand the teacher as being somebody who has a power 
or a position that 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 can be conferred upon me you know I, I, I as the person want to get this power so they they want to get to get a thing uh, sometimes it's a credential you know that they that they want and I and I've been asked straight out by uh, people for credentials and I've always refused uh, when when I see somebody wants a credential I'm kind of like uh, you know go go talk to those guys over there they're good at giving credentials but if I can feel sincerity then uh, I'll work with it and see where it goes but this whatever this is it's not something that can be sort of decided. You can't honestly go and go, well, I think I'll give it to that guy, you know, or eh, I think I'll give it to that guy. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It has to kind of happen. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And there's no way to be honest about it if it isn't happening you can but but of course there are transmissions that are done for different reasons the various reasons that transmission uh, is done might not always be as pure as one likes sometimes it happens from uh, a father to a son or increasingly a, a father to a daughter now in japan because they want to run a, a temple they want to keep a temple within the family and so the transmission goes that way um, there there there's political reasons there's all kinds of things that that happen just because somebody wants a, a teacher in in a certain country and here comes a person from that country and then they give the transmission hope that it works out but the the real menju is a kind of a natural process and it's not like all these other kinds of menju so you got to be kind of careful and you got to see when it happens and and I think it's something that both people have to agree upon but it, it's this weird thing that happens person to person it doesn't happen like over the internet by watching a video. It doesn't happen by reading a book. Uh, it doesn't happen because you dreamed it happened. You know, there's there's all sorts of things that, that come up where people will make a claim for transmission having happened where it's a bit iffy. I think it's a kind of a, a sacred thing that has to be handled very carefully but there's another menju which is just the the teaching itself that 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 when a bunch of people come together to study and practice buddhism there is a kind of menju there there's a kind of face-to-face -face transmission there among the people who are there and the reason i've chosen menju as my topic is because i'm hoping that sort of thing happens at uh, this retreat that we're going to go on november uh, oh god i'll put the dates down below because i don't want to say the wrong ones but it's uh, next friday saturday sunday not this coming friday saturday sunday not the one right after halloween but the the week following whatever the hell week that is eighth to tenth or something like that don't quote me something like that but anyway you're invited so come along there's still time you can still make it and as always, uh, if you want to transmit some money to me, oh wow, that was a good transition, uh, PayPal and Patreon links are below. That's how I make my living. The retreats don't pay me a lot. Actually, I, I don't get paid for these retreats at Mount Baldy at all uh, because I want to make sure that the Angel City Zen Center has some has some money to, to work with in the coming year, so any excess or whatever goes to them. Uh, but I get paid for other retreats sometimes. And uh, but those don't those don't pay the bills. <laughs> I just paid my uh, water bill just now, and and that's not where that that's coming from. It's mostly coming from you guys. So I really thank you. Uh, podcast is up. I'll leave the links below. I'm still waiting for word on when whether iTunes has accepted my podcast. I assume they will eventually, and I'll let you know when that happens. But right now it's available on Podbean, and I will leave that link below, and you can listen to it from them free of charge and uh that's it see you later bye